everyone, Karen from Lavender Clothesline. Today I have a clothing haul for you. Um, these are regular mall brands that I find in my area. I am in central Pennsylvania and I really don't find a lot of Prada or Gucci. Uh, some of the things that I do find because I live in this area um, that I've done well with are things like handmade Amish dresses. I've sold hundreds of those. Um, it's amazing how um, you think it's a very locally sourced and locally sold item, which it is, but um, I've sold Amish dresses uh, that have been sent all over the country. I also pick up um, overalls, lots of farm clothing around here, vintage overalls, denim overalls, Carhartt, um, those type of things have done very well for me. But like I said, today I have um, mall brands. These are just regular everyday bread and butter items that I pick up for one reason or another and I'll quickly show you those and um, kind of give you a why I picked this up and what I think um, it'll bring. So these are all unsold. I uh, haven't even processed them yet. I haven't seen them or anything, but uh, let's get started. So the first item I picked up is a Forever 21 uh, mesh crop top. This is a black semi-sheer um, top and it has this cute flag printed um, elastic banding. So I thought this was great. I will probably sell this for around $20. The next item is uh, a brand called Angie. Now I don't pick up a lot of Angie. Angie is a very, um, in my opinion, a lower end um, brand, but I felt this top was good enough to um, jump in my cart. So this is a boho um, top and it has tassels across the bodice, black and white. Who doesn't love black and white? And um, I might try this on and keep it. Super cute, and uh, I love the boho vibe. So um, yeah, Angie, sometimes yes. I will probably get, I'm um, gonna say about $25 for this top. This next item is just a regular workout top. It's MPG, uh, which you find in TJ Maxx. I like this because it's the two-piece one. It's really one, one solid top, but it has these two, um, two pieces, separate little bandeau top, and then a bubble tank on top of it. And I like this because um, it receives pads. It has the openings in the top. And uh, this will be a little bit of a lower um, price for me. Probably, I'm gonna say between, probably 15 to $17, but I paid two for it. Next item up is a denim uh, jacket. I do very well with jean jackets, so if they're in good condition, the brand kind of doesn't even matter to me unless it's something really, really um, inexpensive. This is LA Blues. And um, when I can get these for a couple of dollars, I will flip them probably for around 25, sometimes as much as $30, even for an off brand. So always yes to looking at denim jackets. Next is a midi skirt that is corduroy. And it's like a fit and flare with a lace hem. You can see that. Um, the minute I saw this, I didn't even look at the tag because these sell in my, in my store. Um, it might not sell during the month of May or June, but as we near the end of the summer, I do very well with corduroy skirts. So the brand on this is Linda Ledstrom. That might even be a vintage, I'd have to check on that, but a uh, really nice condition. So I'm hoping to get 25 for that. The next item up is a red, beautiful tank swimsuit new with tags. This is Gotex. Gotex is a nice brand for swimwear. Has this uh, enameled embellishment here and um, super nice. So this originally went for, in Marshalls, it sold for 40. And um, that's right around where I'm gonna price it also. Um, I price my items a little bit higher so it can absorb um, a sale and um, you know, and, and absorb that discount, and I can still make a good profit. This next little shirt, don't mind my hangers, I just grabbed any old hangers. This next shirt is um, cloth and stone. Um, it's a stripe, a pinstripe, blue and white, little top, and um, I picked this up solely on cloth and stone. I do well with cloth and stone. I don't know, I think it's an anthro brand. Don't quote me on that, but I think it is. The next item up is Michael Michael Kors linen tunic. Super cute with this um, gold, metallic gold banding. Um, I picked this up 
mainly because it's linen. I do very well with linen. I like linen clothing. Um, linen has a following of sorts. Uh, the plus size clothing in linen is always a seller for me. This one's a little bit smaller, but still worth picking up. So super cute. Um, if you find these tops and it has a broad banding of like a, uh, an ethnic print, sometimes I call those dashiki shirts. I'm not quite sure why. I'm um, a product of the 70s, so there you go. That's why I do it. Next up is a label that I didn't know. This is called, you see that? Tulip. And I picked this up because super comfy, pockets, cute beach cover-up dress, and it has fish all over it. Who doesn't love a cute fish print? So absolutely, yes. I'll probably uh, ask, I'm going to say 32 to 35 for this, and it's in great shape. This next item uh, is Newport News. Newport News, I believe, originally was a catalog brand. I think it might have always been a catalog brand. I don't remember any stores, brick and mortar, uh, being called Newport News. This um, brand, I believe, was owned by Avon. So um, it is a crochet knit dress, summer dress, and I've done very well with this brand. I'm going to say in the past year or two, I think that brand lost a little bit of its value, but I've actually sold a blouse from that brand. I'm going to say I got like $250 for that blouse, for one blouse. And it had something like crazy amount of watches, over 100 watches. So um, I pay attention to the label, and then I judge what the item looks like. So super cute. Um, looks like it's never been worn. I'll probably start this at $60. Here's another item, might have been from the same closet that somebody donated. This again, Newport News. This is what the tag looks like. Hope you guys can see that. Boho vibe, super cute. Again, great for the beach. You know, all those fun keywords. Um, yeah, so I will price this probably right around $30, $35. Next item are a pair of harem pants. This is a stretch knit. Look at this print. How fun is this? I think I was like a bohemian girl in another life. Um, I love prints like this. And pockets. Always pockets. I could turn it around and show you the front. That would be good. But um, yeah, so I, I grabbed these pants. I really don't even look at the label when it comes to something like this. I feel the quality. I look at the condition, make sure there's no stains or holes. And in the cart it goes. To me, if it turns out to be some great brand, great. If it turns out to be like a no-name brand, I really don't mind. Either way, it's worth the three or four dollars that I'm paying to buy these. So that's just what I do, um, and I'm a long tail seller. So if it takes eight months to sell, it doesn't bother me one bit. Next um, is Eddie Bauer. Eddie Bauer is not a company that I pick up a lot of. Some of the vintage Eddie Bauer I will pick up. These are a cargo um, cooler weather hiking pant. So yes to those, these were in great shape. I'll probably, um, I'm gonna price these probably between 24 and 29, 30-ish, something like that. Next pants up are by the brand Crazy Larry. Um, these pants, I believe this is a golf brand, and um, this brand has a following. It's not a huge following, but uh, this does get views. So I'm convinced that these pants will sell. I wish they were my size. I would wear them to play golf. I think those are super fun, great um, geometric print, and uh, really has a nice feel to the material. Next up, just a regular pair of Under Armour. They're a jogger uh, cropped sweatpant. So always just to those if those are in good shape. This doesn't bring a lot of money. I'm gonna say I'll probably get 16 for these. Okay, next pair of jeans is Ethel. I know nothing about Ethel. I don't even think I've ever found Ethel. And I did not look these up. These are like a, they're not an acid wash. They were like a bleach rinse, I'm gonna say. But they had some things going on for them. Look at that. Let's see if I can get this. Look at that hem. That's great. Um, yeah, I just really liked these. Again, I don't think this is a high-end brand. I don't think I'll get a lot for it, but yep, I'll take a chance on those. 
these two pairs of Under Armour uh, running shorts. I thought the colors were good. I thought that the logo was on the waistband is good. Had some good things going for it. And I will lock these up together. And I'll probably sell this for $30.35. Next item is uh, Tommy Hilfiger. I almost said Tommy Bahama because I'm so used to these button downs for, for Tommy Bahama, but this one is Tommy Hilfiger, uh, fishing print, button down, men's, I think this must be rayon, I'm gonna guess, or rayon cotton blend, but um, I do very well with these shirts. I love selling men's clothing. Um, I'd almost like a whole store of men's clothing and that might be in the future just to have a men's store. So um, yes to this. And uh, Tommy Hilfiger, um, the newer stuff doesn't do well for me, but the older stuff um, gets attention. So that's what I'm always looking for, to have people really look at my items. Because then, to me, the more attention an item gets, the higher the chance of it becoming a sold. So um, yes to Tommy Hilfiger. The next items I want to talk about are men's jeans. I sell a lot of men's jeans. Um, the only thing I don't pick up are the really inexpensive brands, the brands that you would find in Kmart and things like that. So um, men's jeans are almost always a yes for me, especially the larger sizes. If I find men's jeans in the size 50, yes, almost always in the cart. I'm buying jeans at a very low price point. I go on sale days, so I can get jeans for two or three dollars for a men's pair of jeans. Um, and like I said, I'm long tail, so I don't need to have a hot brand and, and try to flip it, you know, in two weeks and start worrying. I list it, I put it in a bin, and we're good. And even if it sells a year later, I'm still okay with that return, paying two or three dollars and getting thirty dollars out of a pair of jeans. Yes. Again, men's jeans. This is Nautica. I sell quite a bit of Nautica. Um, I almost think Nautica might have a little following because the minute I put a pair of Nautica jeans on, it gets more views than some of the other brands. So I'm thinking people have alerts set up on their phones for when Nautica sells, um, you know, gets listed in their size. So that's just what I'm seeing in my store. And the last item that I want to show you is South Pole. So again, men's jeans. This wash will sit a little bit longer. I almost want to call this angel wings or something really stupid. <laughs> but um, yeah, so this is South Pole. I'll put hip hop and all of those type of fun things in the title and uh, these should do well. Oh, oh, I lied. One more item. This is Paisley and Sage. I paid $5 for this jacket, which normally I would not, especially for an off lower end brand, but I thought this print was too good. I can think of so many keywords for this and I really think this will get attention. So um, yeah, so I'm going to do like boho, artsy, Aztec, all of the things, southwestern, and it's a line jacket and I think the colors are terrific. So um, thanks so much guys for watching and um, please like and subscribe. Talk to you soon.